welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be making this <laughs> um it's the other one that andy from madland designs voted on it's the gatehouse or the gate the wall gate from uh, the um bots ujit so what we need to do first of all is go over to the website and then we go to war game terrain and uh, now we have six mil eight mil ten mil fifteen mil twenty mil twenty eight mil thirty two mil accessories and historical board games i want to have a look at those later on but for now we're going with 28 mil whoops went too far and we're looking at the city wall section in fact let's go back we have accessories and furniture american civil war boats and ships building components city walls we have cityscapes crashed starship dark ages desert fort dungeon systems actually there's a lot more in this than i thought there was so yeah quite uh quite a lot so what i was saying earlier in other in earlier videos about there not being much choice i think i might be wrong <laughs> anyway what we're doing is the long wall main gate is it short short straight gate is the one we're looking at okay so that's the one we want short wall gate Hmm, that looks like it, but I'm assuming it's that. It does look remarkably the same. So we'll click on that, we'll go down and we have assembly instructions. Okay, so it, I'll come back to this during the course of the video now as i said yesterday well not as as of making this it was yesterday when i made the stairway what i'm going to do or what i have done is i've already washed this down with a little bit of water so i said i was going to do that off camera because i didn't want to take up too much time um so there we are so let's go back to the uh, website and the destructions. So we're doing this bit first. Remove the pieces shown from the sprue. So let's have a look. We have this one, knife of opening. So we need to get that one out and that one and there's one more there get off so that one's there uh is it those two it looks like it one two three i like the little pop it gives when it's split get off four so we have those two uh on this side we have these two which we will snip off two three and four there we are so let's go with the 
Uge it. And that's the other one. Hmm. There we are. So if we look at the website and look at the pieces, we have the pieces that it says it wants. Okay, so where do we go from here? Well, that bit Yeah, I'm doing this wrong. Okay, so... <laughs> Ignore me on that one. Okay, so what I want to find out is... Okay, there and there. So these bits go here. And these bits... Is that right? No, it actually isn't. I've got it the wrong way around. Those bits go there. And these bits go in here. Okay, so the flat ones go... Those with the flat bases and tops go on the one with the wall. And the ones with the tabs on the top and bottom go on the blank one. Okay, so we're going to be bringing out this piece of MDF, which is the stir section that didn't go on the wall yesterday. So we'll bring that out and use that as glue palette. I'll scrape the glue off here. There we are. And we can apply the glue to the pieces as needed. So as per usual, we go over the flat edges that are going to be in contact with the piece that we're gluing it onto. This is what you usually do with glue. And again, we're going to try and keep it so that there's no... Oh, there's very little squeeze out. Squeeze out is where when you press the two pieces together, the glue squeezes out just in case you weren't aware. So that goes in there like so. And then we'll do this piece. Now this might last a little longer as we're doing this on something solid rather than paper. On paper, I think the paper was absorbing the liquid from the glue in the one we put together yesterday. But this time we're doing it on MDF, so it probably won't absorb as much. But you never know though, anything can happen. And I'll pop that, whoops. In there, like so. Again, to avoid get rid of squeeze out. So I'll just run the sponge up and down there, and then down there. And now We'll do this side. So, I do like this. I do enjoy doing these. I don't know. It's 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 sort of quite therapeutic, like Lego for kids. No, Lego for for adults. <laughs> 
And yes, I know adults can use Lego as well. I'm just saying it's like Lego that's specially designed for adults. But you wouldn't let kids loose with an MDF kit and glue, would you? Or would you? <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, we'll just keep going away. Yeah, I just imagine some of the kids, the glue will be everywhere. <laughs> awesome. So again. And we'll just wipe up any squeeze out. And then we can look at positioning these where they need to go. Okay, so that's that. They're done. Back to the destruction sheet. And we have attached these to the base. So the base is this one. Okay, so I'll pop them out of the way. Ah, and we'll go and do. Go and release this from its captivity. <laughs> and that's that, and that needs to come out as well. Okay, so that goes there, and brick. goes there okay so we can add glue to this bit and a little to this bit part we don't want it all going onto there because we don't I can't remember how much glue is needed on that bit and we'll put some here 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 and then here and that will do again dealing with any squeeze out and this bit goes here yes yes it does okay so all of this can get glued well obviously not the entire surface of it but i'm meaning all the horizontal bits at the bottom and all the tabs can get glued because there's no overhang with this one And what we need to do next is just the tabs. And this is where we can keep the tabs straight. And get them all nicely lined up, which we couldn't do with the other one for some reason. They've decided that the tags on the, or the other one is going to be just Tagless. Oops, we have a laddie hair stuck to it there. And that goes in there. And then obviously we will go along with Sponge is not going to do anything with this one, so what I'm going to do is rinse the brush out. Wipe it off on a piece of kitchen towel. This is the one I used earlier to dry off 
as I was rinse as I was washing washing it, and we'll go all the way down there with that, and we'll do a little bit here as well, and here. I don't think we really need to do here, but I will do. And here, I'm not doing the inside because there's no point. And there's a little bit there that I don't think should have glue anywhere near it. Okay, so back to the destructions. And we need to dig out more pieces. So which ones do we need this time? So we need to take these pieces. So what do we have? Um, okay, it's not that sheet. Let's shift that paper towel because it's doing nothing. It's on the floor now, never mind. Pick it up later. It's that piece. Uh, these pieces. Ooh, one, two, ah, three, four. Now, I'm not sure whether I mentioned this at the beginning of the video or not. This is the other one that was suggested or voted for by Andy from uh, Mad Lab Designs. The reason I decided to do this one rather to go over to the first one of the other suggestion is because I want to see how these fit together. I'm curious. So the stirway piece will fit on these on this bit. So that's why I've chosen this one. I was going to do one from each, but seeing as these were both fixed, not fixed, both chosen, um, and I wanted to see how this tied together, I thought. I'll give it a try. So that's why I've gone with these. So, where do we go from here? That fits in there. And that fits in there. like so but the doors need to go in before anything else no not before anything else but the doors need to go in before we do the top down so let's get our brush out, rinse it off and there we go, need glue, more glue, a little bit more glue, I can go on the tops here and here I'm not going too far into the thing. So that goes in there. out I'm not quite sure I believe this oh it is right it is okay and we do that and that and then we need to put the glue on this side here 
awkward to get at, but never mind, we will get there. I'm just going to put some glue into the holes rather than try and get it on the tabs. There we are. Oh, and I could put some right along the bottom of this. Just like so. Give me some more glue in a second. There we are. And the holes match up there. That matches up there. Now I'll have to make sure that any squeeze out at the bottom doesn't affect the ability for the door to open and close. So let's just make sure that any squeeze out on the bottom is away from the pivot of the door. Yeah, there we are. This I can do, but it's not really essential. Any squeeze out up there, not a great deal, but we'll smooth it off anyway. Um, what's next? Uh, glue the roof and support together, then glue it to the model. After slotting the gates into position, add the central support. Which is the central support? Let's magnify this a little bit. Okay, I know what the central support is. It's this piece. Mm. <laughs> and one at the bottom here. Yeah, these are, I don't know whether it's me. Oh, but these seem to be getting harder and harder. A little bit more glue. On the pallet, our glue pallet. Now the center support goes like that. So we can actually put a lot of glue on the inside of this. Just to make sure. In fact, let's actually put some glue on here. There we are. Bit more. Still not. Hundred percent how I want it, but still, I just want to keep it away from the tabs for the time being, as yet, and then that can fit into the and attach to the inside wall bits. This is going to be fun painting. <laughs> Okay, so what we have so far is the basic wall shape. So we have the two doors that open and close. We've got the inside 
of the walls as you can see there with the bricks and then you've got the outside support that slots into the next piece now what else we need on this we will find out now because we're going over to the next bit of destructions and here we are attach the rear wall okay so the rear wall is this bit here let's cut this out first of all and then we can try and um slot it together do i fit it there we are so the rear wall <laughs> that's just brilliant i can't get the rear wall in because we've already glued stuff to the base okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a little cut here that will hopefully make it a little easier to add hoping I've not broke anything as we do it in the process but what I'm going to do is now it's actually in I'm not going to try and take it out properly or fully I'm just going to get some glue up against this edge here as you can see hopefully you can see anyway I'm trying not to zoom in too much on this in case you miss anything but this one is Andy said he was trying to give me a challenge. Well, I can honestly say this is a challenge. Um, and it's going to be an even bigger challenge trying to paint the damn thing. But we're all for challenges, model challenges here on, uh, on the Spider's Web. So let's bring it on and see what we can do with it as usual with models challenge is usually accepted <laughs> okay so there we are so we have the back wall done now i know i'm not going to see this but just to make sure i'm just going to take off any squeeze out that occurs that's better There you go. So that's the back wall. Next. So we've done the rear wall and now followed the walkway. So the walkway, I would assume, is this piece here. One. two and three and where does the walkway go it faces that way so 
I know the herd perch is trying to line all holes up together. Will all holes meet? That's the question. Nice, it did. All holes met with a great bang. <laughs> There's a little bit of squeeze out under here that I want to get rid of before it dries. Okay, so yeah, with this I need to take it off again and get some glue on the go. So Bring this down and there's a lot of area for glue here so let's get on with it and stop faffing about dee, 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 dee. there's more glue needs going out So I'm putting on quite a little bit, I think more than I'd need to, but it's better having too much than not enough. Any squeeze out can always be wiped away. Um, and there's better chance of a good hold if you have more than enough glue on. I mean, this is Gorilla Glue, so it's, it is good glue. Um, not sponsored or anything. But if Gorilla Glue would like to send me some stuff, I would be would not be adverse to it. Uh, which way did it go again? Opposite the back wall. Okay, so let's line all these up once more and press down and hope we can get it all in. There we are. And now, rinse our brush out again. And go around and take off any squeeze out. think I need to do in there but I'm doing in there anyway that's that I don't know why I've just put my brush into water again because I'm going into glue next never mind I just come having a sniff at what I'm doing <laughs> so that's the walkway done next is the end brace pieces What are they? Which ones are they? Okay, so we have this piece. One. Two. Switch that piece and this piece. One. Where do these go? Let's have a look. There's no design on them.
Okay, so we hold it's this way and this goes here, I think, and this then goes here. Is that how it works? Seems to, yep, so we'll go with that. So we have another area where glue can be put straight onto the area rather than faff about with um, the little palette that I'm using. There we go. So that bit now slots into there quite happily. And this bit will do the same over here, making sure that I give the top and bottom edge a good uh, coating with this as well there we are so let's brace that next so we've got the end brace pieces we've glued them into place add the front lower wall and crenellated piece so the front lower wall is this one. One, two, and there we are. And the crenellations, which is this piece, and there's also these side bits as well to snip off. There we go. On two, and I'll snip this off as well just to be on the safe side because I know I've got an idea where this is going. Because we had one on the staircase one. There we are, that's all the bits cut out. I've not missed anything this time. So this bit slots in there like so. So let's do that, shall we? All of these pieces will go, will glue in to this bit. So let's get all the glued area done. Now when I've painted this, I'm going to have a look at how these slot together. So that's something to watch for. Um, now, as I build this now, the painting video for the previous one hasn't gone up yet, but it is scheduled to go up tonight at the usual time. But there will be one going up before that, which is a look at um, our afternoon at 
Phalanx in St. Owens for the Games Expo, where these were bought. So you'll see Andy, kind of, <laughs> I'm saying kind of because I think he's a little bit camera shy because he was hiding his face whenever I went anywhere near him with the camera. But at least you'll get to see him. Um, and you can put a you can almost put a face to a name. <laughs> But never mind. So that is almost it for this video. There's only this piece to put on, and another little piece which will go on up near the um, crenellations. there we are that's is that now I did have a way of covering these little gaps here so I use a little bit of layer plastic filler in here on the other one and down at the bottom when well, you'll see what I did with the other one when that video goes up tonight I'm not giving anything else away because I didn't show the bit on camera where I filmed in the top gap only the bottom gap so that's why I'm explaining that part because I don't think I did it in the video not much to put on so I'm not going to put much glue out I just need to do that and then this piece can attach the along the bottom of the crenellations and wash out my brush and wipe over to get rid of any squeeze out I need to make sure that that duck in the right place and it's not going off there we are and that is it for this video so there we have let's move this over there we have the gates which open and close on both sides we have an interlocking I've just noticed there's a little bit of glue squeeze out of there that's better so that's the back of the gate with the walkway at the top and the front of the gate with the crenellations and the brick walls and I'm looking forward to seeing how these fit together but I will do that once this is painted up so one thing I do want to do on this bit there's a rough bit of these tabs thinking on it but there we are that's all we have time for for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.